Hi dear students, welcome to Maths with Panindra. In this video, one example problem from circles we are going to discuss now. Find the equation of circles which touch 2x minus 3y plus 1 equal to 0 at 1 comma 1 and having the radius root 13. So according to the question, this is the way we have to draw the figure. See here, find the equation of circles which touch 2x minus 3y plus 1 equal to 0. So this is the line 2x minus 3y plus 1 equal to 0 which touches the circles at 1 comma 1 having the radius root 13. We don't know the centers of the required circles. This is one circle center, this is another circle center. The requirement is need to calculate the centers of those circles. <coughs> That centers we are assuming that h comma k, either this one or this one. So how to get these centers by using the given data? Observe carefully the line of center C1, C2 is absolutely perpendicular to the given line. Both are perpendicular. Absolutely perpendicular. So first given line. In the generation step, find the equation of circles they are saying now. Let the centers of the required circles, the required circles be x1, y1 x1, y1, I am assuming that either this one or this one and given radius and given radius r is equal to root 13 second step circles touch at circles touch at P of 1 comma 1 with the line with the line 2x minus 3y plus 1 equal to 0. So this information from the given question only we need to write. Line of centers is perpendicular to before that the perpendicular line you can calculate. Line of centers that means C1, C2 is perpendicular to 2x minus 3y plus 1 equal to 0. Then its equation is and passing through also and passing through. One comma one. So perpendicular line we want to calculate that only C one C two. Perpendicular line for this equation. So the slope of this equation is what m is equal to minus x coefficient by y coefficient. So m is equal to two by three. Perpendicular slope means what minus one by m. Perpendicular. Observe carefully, dear students. So perpendicular slope perpendicular slope minus 1 by m. So m value is there directly minus 1 by m and passing through which point 1 comma 1. So line of centers equation. Equation of C1, C2 y minus y1 equal to minus 1 by m into x minus x1. For understanding purpose clearly I am writing otherwise directly also we can write y minus 1 equal to minus 1 by 2 by 3 into x minus 1 denominator of denominator numerator so y minus 1 is equal to minus 3 by 2 into x minus 1 so cross multiply 2y minus 2 is equal to minus 3x plus 3 so these values I am taking here it will becomes 3x 
plus 2y minus 2 minus 3 minus 5 equal to 0. This is line of centers C1, C2, equation of C1, C2. Equation of C1, C2 is. So, what for you are calculating equation of C1, C2? So, equation of C1, C2, we get, got it now. To calculate the centers of this line, go to the straight line topic. This is an interlink with the straight lines also. The points which are lying on the line at a distance of root 13, R is equal to root 13 here, radius of the circle. So, by using parametric equation, we require the theta value. So, from this equation, tan theta you can calculate. Slope of this line, slope of C1, C2. Slope of C1, C2. M is equal to tan theta. M value means what? Minus x coefficient by y coefficient. So, minus 3 by 2. We have to consider only C1, C2 slope only, not for this given equation. Why? Because the points which are lying on the line we are calculating. So tan theta is minus three by minus three by two. Like this rough figure we have to draw that. This is the theta. Tan theta definition is what? Opposite by adjacent side. So if you are taking like this, this is negative side now. Minus three by two is there. So this is positive y axis. We can write as only plus three here minus two. And here root of 9 plus 4 root 13. From this sin theta cos theta calculate. Sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse 3 by root 13. And cos theta equal to minus 2 by root 13. Yeah. Done here. What is the use of calculating sin theta cos theta? By using parametric equations, the third step. By using parametric equation of the straight line. Line of C1, C2 is straight line here. x comma y is equal to x1 plus or minus r cos theta y1 plus or minus r sin theta so in this you can replace what is x1 y1 means this point only x1 y1 we can take it this is x1 y1 here center i have taken x1 y1 generally so which is equal to x1 1 plus or minus r value root 13 cos theta value minus 2 by root 13 y1 plus or minus r value root 13 sin theta value 3 by root 13 so root 13 root 13 cancel here root 13 root 13 get cancel which is equal to 1 plus or minus minus 2 1 plus or minus 3 so come, come to the cases x comma y is equal to if we consider 1 plus minus 2, 1 minus plus 2, comma, 1 plus or minus 3. So first here minus, here plus, if we consider 1 point will come, 1 minus 2, comma, 1 plus 3 and 1 plus 2, comma, 1 minus 3, which is equal to minus 1, comma, 4 and 3, comma, minus 2. These are the centers of the required circuits. So, case 1, case 2. So, center, first circuit center I am taking here, center C is equal to minus 1 comma 4 and radius is given already root 13. We know that the equation of circle with center H comma K radius R is the required circle x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. I am right. So, x minus of minus 1, x plus 1 whole square, y minus 4 whole square is equal to root 13 whole square. So, expansion x square plus 2x plus 1 plus y square minus 8y plus 16 
that root that you whole square we can take this side minus 13 equal to 0. So x square plus y square plus 2x minus 8y 17 minus 13 so plus 14 is equal to 0 which is one of the circles. Come to the case 2. In the case 2 uh, here we can write it as minus 1 comma 4 another one is 3 comma minus 2. Center C is equal to 3 comma minus 2 and radius R is equal to root 13. Second case, the required circle X minus H whole square plus Y minus K whole square is equal to R square. Substitute X minus H value is this is H, this is K. X minus 3 whole square plus Y minus of minus 2 plus 2 whole square is equal to root 13 whole, whole square. So, x square minus 6x plus 9, y square plus 4y plus 4 minus 13 equal to 0. Minus 13, 9 plus 4, 13 cancel. So, x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y is equal to 0, which is the required circles. Therefore, the required equation of circles are x square plus y square plus 2x minus 8y plus 14 equal to 0 and x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y equal to 0. Thank you dear students. One of the students requested uh, to do these some 2-3 example problems. That's why I am separately making these videos.